And in today's show, I want to talk about two things. Number one, I want to talk about the abysmal NBA Finals ratings. And I also want to focus a little bit on um, the horrendous coverage from ESPN uh, throughout the finals because ESPN was the was the network that covered the finals. I first of all want to get into the the, the ratings because um, it's something that really surprised uh, that really surprised me. And I want to read from a what is it? This is from awfulannouncing.com. And it says Celtics Mavericks NBA Finals in 2024 NBA uh, playoff ratings slump for 2023. Uh, the 2024 uh, NBA Finals, marred by several blowouts, will not go down as a classic. The finals weren't much to talk about in terms of ratings for ABC either. Sports Media Watch reports they were the least watched finals since 2007, excluding the two COVID, uh, the COVID era series. The Boston Celtics 4-1 win series win over the dallas mavericks averaged a 5.8 rating and 11.3 million viewers on abc espn simulcast game three that's down three percent three percent in viewership from the 2023 nba finals featuring the denver nuggets and the miami heat on the 2000 only the 2020 and 2021 nba finals both impacted by covid feature lowered ratings and this year's finals was the least watched in 2007 when the San Antonio Spurs and Cleveland Cavaliers series drew 9.3 million um, viewers. As a whole, the 2024 playoffs were down significantly from 2023, according to Sp according to Sports Media Watch. This year's playoff averaged a 2.4 rating and 4.5 million viewers, down 11% and 12% res uh, respectively from 2023. ESPN reported Tuesday the NBA Finals led the network's ratings for all five nights the series aired and, uh, and led all the key demographics. In addition, the, re the release reports this series boasted the highest share of audience ever uh, ever in the, key of, in the key of 18 to 34 demographic. And then it went on uh, to say another thing. And then it says, while... Uh, it said the NBA Finals Game 5, which saw the Celtics claim a record 18th championship, averaged 12.2 million viewers and peaked with 13.8 million viewers. While that's impressive versus other programs, it's a 6.6 .6 decline from Game 5 of the 2023 NBA Finals. The Nuggets win over the Heat averaged a series of 13 um, a series of, a series high 13.8 million viewers on ABC. And the most watched game five since 2019. So that's what that article had to say. So let's get into what this report has to say here. It has the headline ESPN's ups and down NBA season ends with finals to forget. As the, as the major networks and streamers are fighting over multi-billion dollar NBA media rights, the ESPN uh, Colossus has wrapped up yet another finals. The network is reportedly set to maintain its rights to air the finals through 2036, but the 24 series was marred by several noticeable hiccups throughout its final coverage. Some were minor, like on Monday's night, announcer Mike Breen mistakenly identified a random woman in the crowd as Celtics player Drew Holiday's wife, for which later he corrected and apologized. The real Lauren Holiday is as well as is a well-known and accomplished professional soccer player. ESPN has drawn backlash for its ad-heavy halftime show with about two total minutes of airtime devoted to studio crew um, between uh, extensive commercial breaks in game one. And from the start of the finals, there have been a lot of criticism about ESPN's halftime show, which is not really a halftime show. It's about 20 second long content uh, nuggets positioned around commercials. Uh, it's like the popcorn shrimp of studio shows. The pregame show was also widely panned for its actual content covering topics from Dan Hurley's coaching decision to analyst Mike Wilbon's Tim Hardaway Jr. needing to step up in game two in which he ended up not playing a single second. All of this comes while the network is drawing some of its lowest finals viewership in years. Despite a slight increase in regular season viewership, the Mavericks one win of the series in game four was the least watched finals game in the traditional June slot in 2007, according to Sports Media Watch. Then the article then goes on to say a few other things. ESPN's lead NBA broadcast team has dealt with uncertainty all year. The network fired Jeff Van Gundy, who won a ring as a Celtic uh, consultant and is headed to the Clippers as an assistant next season. And Mark Jackson replacing them with Doris Burke and Doc Rivers. 
but Rivers uh, lasted only a few months, taking over the Bucks' coaching job in January. He was replaced by J.J. Redick, who may end up with a similarly, a similarly brief tenure in his role if he takes over as the Lakers' head coach. So this th th that's what these articles had to say. Um, number one, the NBA just landed this new lucrative uh, media deal that's going to give them about $76 billion over the next 11 years, 10 to 11 years. And I just, I, I still don't know how they were able to triple their revenue and have these and have these type of numbers in the finals. I just don't know. Now, in the case of ESPN's coverage of the finals, I think they made a gross mistake letting go of Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy. It was a gross mistake. Um, and you're seeing it now. 